guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and today I'm here with a book haul. It's only fair that I got rid of over 100 books, so I have some books to haul. A lot of these were sent to me, and I did go to Half Price Books today, and I hit, like, the jackpot with historical romances, so I'm very excited. But I also don't want my books to, like, pile up, and I always keep a pile of books that I need to haul, and that's, like, when things kind of get out of control. So I was trying to decide what I wanted to film today, because I have to film a video a day this month, so I'm trying to come up with fun new content, and I thought I would share some books I've gotten recently. I have gotten two boxes in the mail from publishers, so we're gonna go ahead and open this up, and I'm already very excited about what I see. So we do have Berkeley sends me books, and they usually send me an email, and I get to say what I want from them this month. So I did get Fuel the Fire by Chris and Becca Ritchie. I definitely need to finish the series, and I've been collecting them. I have a new space for them in the Addicted series slash Callaway Sister series. I actually really love this cover, too. It's very fall. I also have Punk 57 to add to my Penelope Douglas collection. They got picked up, and we have bonus content as well, so that's very, very exciting. I also have The Raiders of the Lost Heart, which I actually also bought, because I didn't think this box was coming, because it was a little later than normal, so I was like, I guess I'm not getting books from them this month, so I went ahead and bought this one, so be on the lookout for a giveaway, possibly, but this one was so much fun. I gave it four stars. It is between two archaeologists who are rivals, and they are going on a dangerous kind of dig by something that she has been passionate about. Like, she wrote her dissertation on it. And so, very, very fun, entertaining, excited to have that one. I'm super excited for Lana Ferguson's new one. I read The Nanny, and I really enjoyed it. So I probably will get this one on audio to get through it. But this one is a werewolf romance and two wolf shifters and fake dating. So it sounds really fun. I also have The Fairy Tale Life of Dorothy Gale. This one is about... Oh, it's inspired by Wizard of Oz. So her and her sister live with her aunt and uncle after her mom dies. And, oh, she has a relationship with a faculty member, a best-selling novelist that ends in heartbreak and humiliation when she's in grad school. So she applies to the writing program at Trinity College in Dublin. So she goes to Ireland, and she... <laughs> She has some new companions. I think that's kind of like uh, like the people in The Wizard of Oz. Oh my gosh, that's so fun. I love Ireland, so excited for that one. I do have Fallen Air by Aaron Watt. I was reading these when they were coming out and I was obsessed. So I'm excited that these are getting picked up. I also have Chloe Lisa's new ones, which I'm also excited to have. I've read these and really loved them. So we have Only When It's Us and Always Only You. Look at those covers! These two I loved. Four stars, five stars. So excited to have both of those. And then I have Technically Yours by Denise Williams. I am very excited for this one. Oh yeah, she has a nonprofit for coding for high schoolers who want to learn how to code. And they met eight years ago in an elevator and she broke his heart. And now they have to work together again. I'm very excited for that one. So I'm so happy that Berkeley sent these my way. Another box from them. So we have a Twisted Palace that came, which is again Aaron Watt. We have Do Your Worst by Rosie Dannon, which I'm so, 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 so excited to read. This one sounds so good. This one is about an archaeologist, and it is a Enemies with Benefits steamy romance. So love all archaeologist romances. We have Next Door Nemesis by Alexa Martin, which I'm very excited to read. Two people are fighting over it being the the homeowners association's president and they fall in love so sounds fun we have the berkeley edition of corrupt by penelope douglas which i'm very excited for i love the series so much and then the last one in here is actually super pretty it is the hunt on dark waters by katie robert these are like slippery this one is a uh, sea captain meets his witchy match it's the first fantasy romance novel in the series very excited to read that one Definitely. So those were all sent to me by Berkeley. I do have a stack here of some books that were sent to me. We have two that Bloom sent me. So we have Bloody Heart by Sophie Like Someone did ask me if there were illustrations in here. Oh, this one. Yeah. Okay. I was like, I thought there were. This one does. Yes. So we do have illustrations. I love this one. So I'm going to add it to my Sophie Like collection right over there. I was sent Lose You to Find Me by B. Celeste. And this one says that Oh, I think this was the one that's new, and it is about a couple that's already been together, but she turned down her boyfriend's engagement, like his proposal, <laughs> and he doesn't understand what happened, so it's them reconciling, so I'm 
really excited for that one. We also have If You Give a Grump a Holiday Wish List, which came with a bunch of cute little things and cute stickers. Little postcard. They're so cute. This one is a holiday novella with someone who brings her boss home because he's like, we need to work, so I'm just going to go home with you for Christmas so we can work. And he ends up being her fake boyfriend. So, very fun. We also have Broken Dreams by Corinne Michaels, which I'm very, very excited for. So, this one actually included, like, the page overlays as well, which I was not expecting at all and it's so cute so this one i read book one in the series and i loved it so this one is fake dating the gorgeous single dad in their small town that's all i need to know i'm very excited i love corinne michaels so this one right up my alley it's gonna be on my immediate tbr i was also sent in your wildest dreams by rebecca jenchak this one is a hockey romance and he sees her in the stands and is like oh my god i want her and she though is dating someone and then a month later he gets injured and and she is his nurse and she is single so it is their chance at falling in love and it was really cute as well and then I was really happy to finally get Pucking Wild by Emily Rath I pre-ordered this for Steamula in August and she got the wrong kind in I think and so then she couldn't bring it her pre-order so then she said she was gonna mail them all out and did not mail them out until December. So it took four months to get here, but it finally did. I wouldn't have minded if she just like canceled the orders. I did not want her to have to like worry about doing that herself and I know it was really hard for her to do, but I have it now. I have not read this one yet. This one I think is just MF. I don't think this is actually why I choose like book one was, but I love book one, so I can't wait to read book two. Okay, so then we have a couple more. So the last three that were sent to me, I got Second Bite by SJ Tilly. I'm actually gonna post a giveaway of this on my Instagram today, the day I'm filming this. So be on the lookout for that. This one is a holiday baking competition and he's a famous chef. So that sounds like a lot of fun. We also have After the Storm by Laura Pavlov, one of my favorite books the entire year. I am obsessed with this book. It's Second Chance, Single Dad. I've literally talked about it in so many videos. Read it if you haven't yet because it's my new favorite. I also got a copy of He's Not My Type by Megan Quinn. This one sounds so, so good. So this one is a roommate to lovers and he's been pining after her and he's a hockey player. So I definitely want to read this. I might do a new releases reading vlog again. I've already posted one, but I might do another one because this one, high on my TBR. And then I also had to grab Hopeless in this cover, though the texture is different than the other ones, which is a little annoying. It's like smoother than the matte covers but this one was going out so I have to add it I don't have any room on my shelf of Elsie but I'm gonna put it on there because now I have three copies of each book or two because they haven't come out yet but I do have my whole collection here so I had to finish it off and get this cover before it went away then I went to half price books today so I'm gonna show you all the books that I got I did already post a come shop with me vlog for my patreon if you are interested I do different kind of vlogs and videos for them and reading sprints and tons of fun things go on over there so you do have the chance to do a one week free trial if you're interested so it's always linked down below but I did end up getting the reef by Nora Roberts so I always look if she's in the clearance section in this one we have her iconic photo and we always have her iconic initials somewhere on every cover I don't know if you can see it it is right here can you see that but this one is actually it sounds super cool because it's about archaeologists and like I'm super into that when I was in elementary school I wanted to be a marine biologist because like I thought it was really cool to go down and like look for treasure at the bottom of the ocean <laughs> That lasted like I think it was like third grade and that was it and I was like absolutely not But I've always been super intrigued by different like adventure movies like Romancing the Stone, The Mummy, National Treasure So it's my favorite. So this one is a marine archaeologist and she has a passion for treasure hunting I did get it on audible, but I saw it for three dollars. I was like, yes, please. I need to own that I also found in the night by you that was three dollars so this one also has the iconic nr on the cover and i'm just trying to collect her look at that her hardbacks when i find them on clearance and then i also have blood magic which i have the other books in this series and i haven't gotten this one yet and i've heard it's a good series so pick this one up as well for three dollars and then i found you guys are gonna laugh this half price books when i tell you it had some historicals that took me a long time to collect myself there i was like i didn't buy those because i was like i just leave them for someone else who wants them i almost was like maybe i should put together like a little box of like iconic historical romances to like give away but i was like just stop 
no just leave them so I got these and I don't need them all but they're so pretty this one sounds so good it is a black swan I should I can't with my nails I cannot take little stickies off I have to get my little like box cutter to take them off and like slide underneath but this one looks so good and I was intrigued because it said over a million copies in print of this book and I feel like this one was back when yeah 1978 so it sounds like it was it's not a first printing the first printing this copy was from 1984 but the first printing was 1978 which is around the time of flame and the flower which i just read was not super impressed by that one so i'm excited to read more from that time period this is definitely putting in a historical mood so we'll see what i read i did get ashes in the wind because people told me that i would love this one i said flame and the flower was a little too boring for me so they said read this and i found this copy and i do have another copy of this but there's like a million in editions and I really like this one so I got that one to read I have Southern Rapture I'm all I'm literally just gonna say this because the covers are pretty I got Anora oh, look how cute it is oh my gosh I'm so excited and then I have Catalina's Caress so this author I've become very fascinated by because she has such pretty covers and I've heard really good things about her books and it's Sylvie Summerfield and they had like five of hers and I already owned the other ones and those were the ones that took me a while to get so very excited for that. I did not have this Brenda Joyce one, apparently. And it's, like, perfect condition. So I bought that. Another Nora with a ballerina. A dancer. Got that one. Then we have No Sweeter Ecstasy because this one was on a ship. I don't think I have this one. I've kind of not been on top of scanning in the ones into my app that I own. This one by Heather Graham. I don't think I have this either. And it's shiny. This one looks so good. The Captain's Doxy. Listen, I'm going to have a close-up of the back of this. Come on. There we go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. The wave is, like, just over the unmentionables. So, then we have Defiant Captive. Moontide Embrace. I have a bunch of hers, but how to get this one? Time Swept Lovers. And then the last one is Wilderness Flame, but I got it because look, look how shiny. It's so shiny. So excited for that one. Okay, so those are the books that I've gotten recently. It's a little sweet short haul. I feel like I do a lot of like the big haul videos because those are what like people want to watch, but I just have so many stacks sitting around everywhere when I wait that long to do a haul because I end up getting a lot of books, like you saw. I did get a lot sent to me in this haul, but I also bought a handful from Half Race Books, but I wanted to go ahead and put these away now and not wait around. So those are the books that I've gotten recently. Let me know what you've recently gotten and what you're excited for me to have. I would love to hear, and that's all I have. As always, thank you so much for watching, and have a good day. Bye.